welcome back to the sessions so just i'm waiting for uh, other participants to join team uh, we have close to 80 plus enrollments but uh, i think because of this festival continuity with the weekend probably some of the people might be missing the live session today anyhow let me continue the session team if anyone missed the session they can able to find it in the recording uh, one second Okay, so let me start the session for today team. Again, welcome back to everyone team for day three session on Oracle Fusion HCM cloud applications. So in the last session team, day before yesterday, yesterday we didn't have the session on the occasion of Diwali festival. Day before yesterday, we were talking about the Oracle knowledge repository team I introduced to you how to access Oracle standard delivered documents with respective to this technology, right? And then every quarterly release, every three months when the application is getting upgraded, what are the new enhancements that Oracle bringing in the system? How to get that information, that release notes, that all I have given the navigation to your team, where to go in the internet and how to access the standard Oracle documentation I have navigated in the last class. And also I explained you post that Oracle certification process team, how in the fusion application certification concept will be there. I told you module wise Oracle conducting the certification exam. Is it mandatory? Is it really required when you are learning this course and all? I explained in that session team. And also we have seen introduction to the fusion application team. Like when any company buy the product from Oracle, how the fusion application will be delivered. I mean to say in which form the fusion application will be delivered. Okay. I have explained team. So my voice is breaking. Banu. Uh, team, is it for only to Banu or for everyone? Can anyone of you please confirm, please? Am I audible? Am I audible clearly? Yes, sir. Uh, it's clear. Yeah, it's clear. It's clear. Fine, fine, fine. I think you are Banu. Okay. You acknowledge that. Thanks for that. Right. So... I have introduced to you what is this cloud-based technology is about and how the fusion application will be delivered with an example of Tata Group purchasing a product from Oracle, how the application will deliver, introduction to the fusion application, okay? And what are the different terminologies that we will be referring the fusion application that all I have explained you in our last session team in day two demo. And also company to company, when Oracle selling their product, what will be the difference in the URL, the four digit pod number, okay, the four characters pod number will be deferred, I told you. Correct team, ESEV, HGDR, QASR. So client to client or company to company, when Oracle selling the product, how the URL looks differently from each other. That also we understood team. And then I logged into the system and I have explained you some of the basic home screen features in the system, correct? Like what will be the springboard and what are the functional areas we have? What is navigator, home button, then uh, favorites, recent item, how to sign out of the application, basic overview, intro, how the look and feel of the Fusion application will be there, I have explained you team. Okay, now from today, we are going to start with our regular classes team. So today onwards, I'm going to start with the very first topic within the Fusion application team, that is security administration. So I'm going to start with the 
very first concept in the fusion application that is security administration team see you go any project in the real time we have many modules in the system team when when i say hcm cloud i explained you here right on day one demo what are the modules we have in the system then what are the other concepts we have in the system and all team whenever in the real time you got the job you placed in a company and your company got the project and you got deployed for that the very first and the foremost thing that we should have understanding in the fusion application will be the concept of security administration we have your module called security administration team so this will be the first concept that we have to know in the system why that is first concept i'll tell you team see fusion application if you have to access means you require user id and password correct in the last session i have shown you in order to access the fusion application team user id and password you should require your account created in the system team correct so let's suppose team tata is the company bought the product from oracle let's take the same example here also team okay let's take the same example here also team tata group tata group purchased the product from oracle team tata group purchased the product from oracle team and tata given the project to infosys so infosys is the implementation partner for tata group we are working here let's say from infosys we are 10 resources 10 implementation consultants we are team we call it as we are called as implementation users or implementation consultants team so we are 10 people we are deployed for the tata group project team so now we have to configure our client application our client application team so so when we are in the project team we should get access to the fusion application of the client am i right or wrong team now we got the project now we got the project and second team why the people not able to connect to the class zoom link is working fine now just a second yes we can hear you is it taking more time to load or what no sir no it's fine, it's fine with us okay i think they, they keep on messaging me in the chat here just a second <clears throat> okay all right so team now we are the implementation consultants team our company got the project from tata group and now we have to implement the client application team so when we are going to start the implementation we all require the fusion application access of our client tata correct team now tata group is our client we are going to implement the project for our client tata so 10 people we are a team who is going to work on the implementation of the fusion application for tata group team so all of our 10 implementation consultants we require our user account access in the system team because every one of us should have access to the fusion application then only we can log in and we can start implementing all our modules team core hr apps and payroll talent everything correct so that is why i am explaining you the concept of security okay security in the system team why because why because in security administration in the fusion application we are going to see 
two concepts team what are they you know one is user account management one is user account management and the other one is role management in the system team what are they one is user account management and the other one is role management team so in security module we have these two concepts user account management and role management what i mean user account management team in user account management we are going to see how to create new user accounts for any person in the fusion application team okay how to create user accounts in the fusion application team for any person that we are going to see in user account management team so now for all of us we require user account in our client application team so what happens you know team in reality usually client side it team will be handling the application team okay when they buy the product from oracle the it team will interact with the oracle and they buy the product so client side it team what they will do they will create one account okay for our 10 members we have our project manager or team lead in our company correct team so they will be creating one account for our manager team they will create one account for our manager and they will give that to us team to our team i mean to say they will create one account with all the access and they will give that account to to us team by using that team we have to log in and we have to create the user accounts for all our remaining team members team okay ultimately all of us should require access to the fusion application all of us should have user accounts in the system to access the client application and to, to, to start working on the modules team. So in reality, client side people will give one user account for our project manager and they will uh, ask us to create for rest of our team members team. So how in the fusion system user account creation will be happened? Now we all got by this time one account access team from the client for our manager or something. So we can use that account team and we can log in into the system and we have to create remaining team members account team. But whoever the team we have for all of us, we have to generate the accounts team. Now the most important point or the interview question also team. How many ways in the fusion system we have to create the user accounts team what is that how many ways in the fusion system we have to create the fusion sorry to create the user accounts in the system team when it comes to user account creation we have two ways to create them one is automatically system generating okay automatically system generating means automatically system will generate the user account team then in other way in other way okay in other way manual way of creation in other way manual way of creation two ways in the fusion system we can create the user accounts team automatic manual automatic means not for us team we are the implementation consultants we are not the employees in the client organization our 10 members will not be hired in their organization in their system so employees team let's suppose we implemented all the modules in the client application team for tata group we completed our configurations and we hand over the system core hr apps and payroll everything we configured now our tata client they started using this hr system in their day to day activities team in core hr module in fusion system basically employee hiring will happen so every day whoever recruited okay hrs of the client will be hiring them in their system team 
so whenever hrs hiring the employees whenever hiring of employees happening team okay in the fusion system system itself will automatically create the user account for all the employees team so for employees for employees system will automatically generate the user account team for our client employees because they will be hired in the system this will be handled in the core hr module team so when we are talking about core hr module i am going to practically show you how the hiring happened in the system and how the user accounts are getting generated but now we have to learn this option manual way of creation why team why team banu wait probably you might aware of all these things but rest of the people don't know the roles concept will be it to come so we'll be discussing it okay manual way of creation this is what now our point of uh, interest team what is that we are not employees in the client organization okay we are the implementation consultants team we are not the employees in the client organization so we are non employees for non employees team we have to manually create the accounts in the system for the employees automatically system will generate in core hr module whenever hiring happening team for non employees just user accounts for all of our 10 members team we just require user account no employee record will be created for us team because we are not employees in the client organization we are the implementation partners we are there to configure and go right so we will not be hired in the system we are non employees for the client team for our for, for us accounts have to be created manually team but when it comes to the client employees once we configure all our modules and we hand over the system to the client when they are using it in day to day life whenever they are hiring the employees automatically for the employees system will create the user accounts team now our work will be here in the initial implementation when we go our first work will be here all of our team members we have to create our accounts team either you will create your colleague will create it's up to you but we should know how we can create user accounts in the system so that every one of us will have access to the client application team so how we can create team by this time i told you client will give one user account team for our project manager or for our team lead so we'll use that let's assume this user id is our project managers or team lead one account which client given team okay so i am passing that user id and password and i am signing in so once you sign in into the application team once you sign in into the application team you have to go to this tools functional area team okay just a second go to home okay go to home so this is called springboard i told you and these are all functional areas and sub functional areas i told you once you log in into the system if you want to create new user accounts for any one team you should go to the right side arrow here click on the click on that the options will be moving right here we have a functional area called tools tools under tools functional area we have a sub functional area called security console in the entire fusion application the concept of security will be handled in a one single area called in a one single area called security console in the entire fusion application the concept of security will be handled in a one single place called security console okay come to tools here 
under tools you go to security console okay then team once you come to the security console you will land up on this page we have roles users i will come to this roles in next 15 minutes or 20 minutes team okay here we have to come to users team on the left hand side the second option come to users so here team we can able to search if any existing employees or non-employees having the account in the system we can search here team if you know his username you can pass and you can search but if you want to create new user account for anyone we have to come to users and then we have here team add user account so go to add user account and then you will land up on add user account team so this is the approach that we have to follow for manually creating the user accounts team now we have one account that which client given to us by using that we logged in and for rest of our team members we are creating the user accounts team right so here when you come to add user account team associated person information associated person type we have none and we have one more option called a worker see team worker what is this here only system will ask you a question what is that you are creating the user account for non-employees means non-employees means we are not hired in the system i told you correct team in the client application just user accounts we want only user account to the system we want our employee records not created in the system team so system asking us user account creation for whom associated person type if i keep none it means only user account you are creating in the system just user account but team if you are creating a user account for any employees that are already hired now you can ask me a question Hey, Kumar, employees, you are telling that while hiring in the system, system automatically will generate no. This part is done. Why manual option also there? Sometimes while hiring happening team, due to some data discrepancies, automatic generation might be failing team. Means HR hiring an employee in the core HR module. During that time, some username required information not satisfied by the system automatic generation will fail in that case team hr admins should manually come to the security console come to user account and they can create the user account for the employees team because for every employee in the client organization they require the application access no they have to access their self-service they have to check their assignment they have to apply the leaves they have to download the pay slips Every employee requires this application access. It's a HR portal access, right? So team, automatically, if any employee user account not created, manually also you can define. So while, while you creating user account, system will ask you, you are creating just user account or you are creating the user account for any existing employee who is already hired employee record there to him see if if that is the case team associated person type i have to keep as worker when i keep worker one more field will open here see team worker name means already employees are hired in the system i can able to search in core hr module hiring happened team that i am searching here team so any employee by name john i am searching team see john bernard this is his name and person number in the system. Person number means employee ID that in core HR we will see team. So select the person, click on OK. And the details copied, his first name, last name, everything team. So as a admin for any employees that you hired in the system in core HR module, you want to create the user account manually. You have to choose worker and search that worker from the system and you can proceed with the user account creation team but now we are creating the user account for our team for our implementation team 
so we are not anyhow employees in the client organization our records will not be hired in the system team we require just user account to access the application and to configure all the modules team in that case while you creating the user account associated person type keep as a none none means no employee associated to this account just a user account creation okay then account information keep it active team if you are not keeping it active and you are creating it is useless the credentials will not work team always the account to be active when account will become inactive when account will become locked i will explain in next 15 20 minutes team let me create first of all post that i will explain you while you creating user account status we have to keep as active advanced information is not required team within security single sign on concept is there but as a functional or technical consultant in hcm we will not handle this team for this there will be other team the middleware team they will be enabling the ssos and all team so it's not our cup of soup you please ignore that what is this team here user information so user category default okay then first name let's say i'm i'm creating team triotech last name kumar let's say i'm giving first name triotech and kumar team see next email let's say i'm giving something like kumar dot oracle one eight at the rate gmail dot com so currently i'm giving one of my a uh, used email id for every this name then any phone number if i want to give i can give here for that user team okay okay and then team user name here see the moment i given first name and last name team automatically the user name taken up a combination here triotech dot kumar means first name dot last name who told the system this is the format that should be taken automatically see team in the user creation part in the fusion system we can customize these all things team in the category level we have that option we have something called user account rules customization what should be username format you want the username should be email ids or first name dot last name and password complexity also team when i am creating the user account here password complexity coming see simple at least eight characters one number these all things we can customize team that we will see in category first let me let me complete user creation post that we will discuss team okay if time permits today only i will take up this or in the next session we will take up team but as of now i want everyone to be along with me how to create user account in the system when we go for the real time project implementation how for all our team members the user account creation will be happened so come to users add user account and then team user information that person first name last name email phone and the user name taken up triotech.kumar then password i am giving some password here team okay then confirming the password to the user now team creating the user account is sufficient in the system now i am creating the user account team okay now i am creating the user account team <clears throat> first name last name uh, sorry basic information i am giving email phone number what is the username id that employee that person should have password everything i am giving so while i am creating a user account just user account information if i give that is sufficient team no with this user id when this person log in into the system to what functionalities this kumar should able to access in the system what all modules what are functionalities the user should have access team then comes the concept of roles here bono now coming to your answer question how you will assign the roles okay while we creating the roles user account team 
while we creating the user account team creating just user account will not suffice our requirement for every user in the fusion system we have a concept called roles now let me come to the concept of role management in the system team okay role management in the system team i told right in security we have two concepts one is user account management and the other one is role management team what do you mean by role management please excuse me with the background noise team because uh, beside the office some crackers been uh, fighting here sorry for that so we have a concept called role management team so what do you mean by role management in fusion application the entire security is working on a one single concept called r back r b a c r back means what team roles based access control in fusion application in fusion application the entire security is working on a single concept called r back roles based access control if any one of you from e business suit background team you will be having the responsibility there you will go to identity management you will add the responsibility to the user to give access team but in fusion system we don't have the concept of responsibility for security context team by replacing responsibility oracle brings in something called r back okay r back roles based access control means team for every module in the system see in hcm cloud i told you we have different modules team correct correct for every module in the system team for every module in the system team oracle delivered standard roles in the system for example core hr you take team we have a module called core hr for core hr absence and talent management team we have something the roles called team human resource okay human resource manager then human resource specialist okay then human resource analyst okay for these modules team core hr absence talent we have the roles that which oracle delivered like this team then for payroll management if you have to access payroll module in the fusion system we have the roles like payroll administrator okay then payroll manager no need to write anything team i will give all this document to you all the list of roles today in the community the first set of materials will be given to you in that from day 1 and for next 25 days whatever the sessions that we are going to be discussing the entire day wise class manual will be given to you to uh, you can find it in the whatsapp community today no need to write anything just focus on the session okay so core hr absence talent we have these roles which oracle given for payroll module to access in the system we have payroll administrator payroll manager then for compensation module we have compensation manager compensation admin okay administrator like that we have team then for benefits module we have benefits administrator benefits manager like that then for otl also these roles are sufficient team then for olc in order to access oracle learning cloud we have something called learning specialist uh then uh, for we have some more also from each module main important things i am writing team here then for orc module recruiting cloud we have something called recruiting specialist a uh, hiring manager hiring manager okay then recruiter like this we have roles team for every module in the system for every functional area in the system 
we have different roles which oracle given team so now i am creating a user in the system a user account i am creating for one of the person that is mr kumar this is the user account i am creating team with this user account when kumar log in into the system what access in the system we should get a team by using this triotech.kumar user account when this person kumar log in into the system to what all functionalities kumar should have access team here the concept of roles will come into the picture here the concept of roles will come into the picture while we creating the user account whatever the roles that we add to the user team i'm adding these roles let's say okay by adding these roles team the user will have access to all those modules in the system so while we creating the user account team we have to map the respective module related roles to the user so that module related functionalities configuration setups everything the user will get access that is what our back roles based access control whatever the roles you added to the user he will have access to those functional areas in the system as simple as that now team i am creating a user account let me proceed further so where we can find team oracle delivered standard roles in the system when i am creating the user account here i have team role section and i have here add role add role so here we can search team whatever the roles i am telling let's say human resource manager we have one role i told you for our core hr absence talent for otl see human resource manager see team role i could able to find it in the system don't worry kumara why i am seeing three times within the roles concept team we have role customization concept that we will see at later point not now so for other batch whoever we completed team for our morning batch people security we already completed recently so when they are practicing team we have the customization concept we can copy the oracle delivered roles and we can create the copy of them for the business purpose in the system team so that's why duplicates you are seeing but when you are working in the real time in the client application you will be the first people who will be working on all these team when you search for a role whatever the role that you see in that list is the role name and this is the role code ora o r a ora means oracle so role code starting with ora means that is oracle delivered standard role team so you can select that role and you can add that role to the user team like this all roles you can search and you can map to the user what access you want to give to that person now let's say team i will not add any of these roles team one basic role in the system is there called employee usually this role for our employees we will assign team though i am not creating an employee account i will add one basic role team means at least while hr hiring the employees team when the user accounts created for every employee at least they should able to access their own self service team okay they can they have to check their own personal information and all for that matter team oracle given one basic role in the system called employee role what i will do is to make you the concept more realistic team i will create the user account with one basic employee role team and i will complete the user account creation we'll try to log in with this new user and let's check it out team what functionalities this user having later on we will try to add other roles and we will check how the access improvised okay now what i am doing team just one basic role i have called employee so employee or i want only pick up add role membership now see team role added to the user team right so now once after adding the role click on save and close click on save and close so it all will come 
will, will come later team. Now I created the user account. If I want to cross verify team, I can check it out here. User account. Here I can search any existing accounts. If I want to check out team, I can search here. Triotech.comar. Okay. See, this is the user account just we created with this email. And team, when the user account you create team, whatever the email that we given to this person, to his email, uh, even the welcome email will be triggered by the system. If you want, I can, I can show you. This is my user email I have given, right? While I'm creating this account. So if I go to the system, one second team, just I will open my email inbox. That is one of uh, email ID. Okay, just I'm again resharing my screen. See team here, I opened my email inbox. See here, I got an email just now at 8.42 PM. See, this email team. If I open this, welcome email. And, and the from, from address, if you see, our domain will be there. ESEV, the pod number. See, dear Priotech Kumar, see, congratulations. Your application account has successfully created. Please follow the link to reset the password. So team, while I'm creating the account, I given the password team. If I give him directly the password, he can directly use that team. Or else the person will get the password reset link also. From here, he can click, he can reset, and he can start accessing the Fusion application. So in the system, either you create manually the account or in case of employees, when you hiring, when system automatically creating the account, every employee also will be receiving the welcome email from the system. So from here, the users can click and they can reset the password and they can start accessing the Fusion application team. Now let us check it out team. I will try to log in with this Triotech Kumar account, which we created just now. And let us see team, what function this person having team. So let me keep this window like this. I'm opening incognito. Okay, another uh, window I'm opening team. This is our application URL, ESEV. We all know, right? Incognito in, in Google Chrome. So just I opened that. Now see team. I'm trying to log in with the account which I created team, triotech.kumar. Okay. Okay, it's all, all auto save here. This I'm using that team. Test at the rate one, two, three is the password I given. Now see team, I have created the account. I'm trying to log in with this user team, triotech.kumar and let me sign in. And now let me check out team once I sign in. See now, I logged in as Triotech Kumar. Good evening, Triotech Kumar. TK. Okay. And here, see team, what access I'm getting? Me, procurement, payables, tools. Again, under tools, no security console. See, if I come to navigator, only these options I have team. And if I come to the right side, settings and actions button, only these things I have. But come and check my screen. What about me, the, the login which I am using team currently, hcm.oct. This one only we have given to you as well. Correct? See, when I log in with this, this user team, how many functional areas I could able to see in the springboard? Many. See, many, many. Even in the navigator, I could able to see many functional areas team here. And under tools, if I come, I can able to see security console. Schedule process, transaction console, many things. And even if I come to settings and action team, I could able to see this administration work area and all. But am I able to see all this stuff in Kumar's login? No. See here, Kumar button, see here, Kumar's screen if you see. Only these things. Why? Because for Kumar, we added only one basic employee role. With that role, Whatever functionality he is supposed to receive, that functionality is only he is receiving team. But whereas my login, this one I will be using for all my batches team. So all trainings, I mean to say, for HCM, finance, everything. So all roles added to this user account team for our training purpose. That's why many functional areas this user is getting access. But for Kumar, 
only one basic role we have given team. Now, shall we add some more roles to the user Kumar and let, we, let, let us take it out, whether he could able to get access to these modules in the system or not. Let me check out team. Now, again, I'm going to tools, okay, tools, and then I'm coming to security console, right team? Then coming to users, and I will search with that Kumar account team, triotech.kumar. If I know his account name, I can pass it. If I know his email ID, you can pass email in the parameter and search with his email. Or if you know his last name, first name, any parameter you can pass him. I'm giving username. I know that, right? Search. So this is the account we created. Let us add some more roles team. So as an admin, if you want to do any sort of updations to any employee, non-employee user accounts in the system, you have to come to user accounts, search with the account team, click on that name so that you will end up on user account details page of that user team. See, this is what we created just now. User name, first name, last name, email, phone number. Huh? Uh, this I will tell you team. Why while we creating the username taken up as first name dot last name or else team. Today on November 1st, I created this account just now, 10 minutes back team. Password expiration came January 30, 2025. November 1st, January 30 means what exactly 90 days from today, the password expiration date came means this user have to reset the password every 90 days team or else password will expire it seems. Why it is coming? My client is telling Kumar, I have four months policy, not three months, every 120 days. These all are customizable team. I will talk in the category level. We have to do that team. Just ignore that. We'll take up later in the next session. Now team. I created this user with only this basic role team. Let us try to add some more. Click on edit button. I will come to this also next. Let me click on edit. Okay. Edit any things that you want to correct in his name, first name, last name, email, phone number, anything you can do team. And here come to roles. Click on add role and try to add some more roles team. Let's say I'm adding human resource manager. Only aura will aura one only you take team. Select it. Click on add role membership. Okay, it got added team. See. Then then human resource specialist. Okay. Human resource specialist. That is also I'm adding team. Select add role membership. Then team. Then team. Payroll module related roles, I'm adding team. Payroll administrator, right? Payroll administrator. Then I'm adding compensation admin. Okay, one one role I'm adding as of now team. Compensation admin. Okay, then benefits admin. Benefits admin. Okay, I'm adding all the roles to the user team with respective to all the modules in the system. Okay learning specialist right team so i'm adding everything to the user now let us check out team see along with that basic role other roles also i'm adding team what is assignable what is auto provision we'll discuss when we're talking about the roles let us go one by one now we are talking about role concept how our back is working in the system so team now I added some more roles to our user team. Let me click on save and close. Now the roles will update to our user in the system. Now see team, more roles we added to the user team. Now let me try to go to that another window. Let me sign out and let me sign in again team because parallelly when we are working, screen will not uh, reflect immediately. We have to refresh the screen. So sign out and sign in again team. Now I'm logging in as Kumar again, triotech.kumar. Now check out team. Any changes that you will be noticing? Not yet updated. Same things you are seeing here. Nothing differed, right? It's, it's taking slight bit of time because uh, when we're doing parallel team, 
usually there are processes to run but usually for one user you don't need to run team just slight bit of time it is taking that's all because uh, training environments usually will perform slight slowly compared to the real time environments team let me check out still they have not updated usually after 30 seconds to 45 seconds if you check them they will be getting updated team so what i will do is let me check it from this window let me log out uh, from my login and let me sign in with priotech.kumar team and let me check out see now i mean just a matter of 30 45 seconds that's all now see team when i log in as kumar did you notice additional functional areas coming earlier these all are not available me after that see my client groups came huh? under my client group if you see absences journeys uh, goals performance uh, career development talent review learning payroll okay then benefits benefits team see all these were added here earlier they were not available team some more functionalities added up here team that is because of the roles that we added to the user similarly under tools if i come still security console is not there to this person for security console also team for any person to access that we have a role by name called team it security manager if this role you attach to the user team then from his login also security console access he will be getting if you want we'll do that see let me sign out let me sign out now again i am signing in as my user team that is my training user whatever i am using hcm.oct now let me go to mr kumar okay let me go to tools tools again security console okay now i logged in as hcm.oct the uh, admin login team users then let us go to triotech.kumar okay kumar then click on the name then edit and see here team you will have a role called it security manager role it security manager see if this role assigned to the user team then he will get access to security console in the system then similarly team when a user come here settings and action this administration work area is there this is very important team starting from monday when we are starting any of the modules in the system you take going forward core hr apps and payroll for every module that you want to configure means i told you right we have different setups in the system team each module so you will go to the setup and maintenance this is our fsm task team i will introduce to you later but this administration access also you will require to go to that and to configure all our modules team so to have this administration access team there is a role called team application implementation consultant application implementation consultant we have other roles also team for this admin access like application implementation consultant okay then application implement <laughs> okay application implementation consultant application implementation manager then application implementation administrator okay we have these roles available team for that admin area to give access to the user team so let me add them also so that we'll see that how the things are working so it security also i added now to kumar okay now let me add more roles team something like application implementation consultant okay aura one copy one don't use because that someone copy team and he created the duplicate one so application implementation manager okay application implementation manager then application implementation administrator 
okay application implementation administrator see team all the roles we have to attach in a system team like this now see i will click on save and close now let us log in with this kumar credentials okay and let's check it out team what happens in a system further any access enhanced to this user or not now let me come to this page now i'm logging in as Ryo Tech kumar okay and i'm sign in I'm clicking on sign in oh my god this page i think this incognito having some issue my browser let me sign out and let me sign in here only team okay now i logged out with my admin access and then i am logging in as kumar team whatever the user account we created now let me click on sign in now you see team when you sign in when you come to the tools still it's not updated just uh, we'll wait for 10 20 seconds more and we will try to check out team let me check again In real-time environment stream in the client applications, just like that, they will get updated. But our training environments, we can expect slight slowness stream. It will take like 30, 45 seconds of time to get the changes reflected. Because parallelly we are doing, no, that is a reason team. Or let me check out one more time in this incognito. Anywhere the login you can do team. Okay, now you see team, when I log in with Triotech Kumar, some more functionalities came, see, see, and then tools if I come team, now security console, Kumar also having, he can also play with the user accounts and all, and even team, if from his login also, if I come to settings and action team, this administration work area came, so whatever my login have, this person also have everything in the system team, see, Whatever I have, everything this person also have in the system team, right? So this is how in the Fusion application, the concept of security will be working team. So now let me go back to our login and let me show you further team, whatever we have. So this is what I'm trying to explain you team, how to create user account. Now, when we go for the project implementation team, when client given us one account, by using that, how to log in into the system and for reminding all of our team, how we can create access in the Fusion system, nothing but the user account creation, we have known, right team? Manual way of creation is like that. Security console, create the user account and we have to map all the roles to the user in the system team. All the roles in the user in the system team. That is what the concept also team are back. Roles based access control. Whatever the roles we add to the user, all that module related functionalities, functional areas the user will get in the system team. Okay. So this is how team user creation manually in the system will be handled. Automatic creation we will be seeing in our core HR module because now I cannot show you. You won't understand also. Now we got access. We'll start configuring core HR, absence, payroll, talent, every module team and we'll hand over the system to the client. And when the client started using team in the core HR module, when they're hiring the employee, automatically system will create that part I will cover in our core HR module team. So now we create user account team. What else we can see here? Let me close this. What else we can see this here? Uh, see about the user team. If I go to again tools. Okay. If I go to again tools and then security console. Okay. And then going to the user and then searching for the existing user team. So I told you someone created or what parallelly with the same name, same email ID. 
Okay, fine. So this is my user team, triotech.comar. If I go here at team, I told you any changes to the user account details if you want to do any information, if you want to update as an admin, you can click on edit and you can perform here team username, first name, last name and all team. And then team, beside edit only, we have reset password. For example, this user forgot his password team. So he's traveling to uh, reset team. Usually on the login time, he will have the option forget password, reset password options team, like uh, forgot username, forgot password. He can do his reset password from there. Let's say as a HR admin, if HR want to reset the password for any user team, so they can come to the user account here and then HR can do the reset password here. Automatically generate if I keep and if I click on reset team, system will be sending the reset link to the user email because while we hiring while we creating the user the email is there right to so this email system will be sending team if not that as a hr hr can able to manually change the password come here change the password team new password confirm password reset and then share it over the email or something manually how you want to share team as a message to the user something like that so admins will have this provision team. Any employee or any account user, if, we, if they forgot the password and they're unable to reset, they can do it from the backend here and they can share team. But here you might be observing team. While we creating the user account also, password policy is there. At least eight characters, one number. Now here also see, when, when we resetting at least eight characters, one number. Then, Password expiration date triggered 90 days exactly uh, the employee that the user have to reset the password or else the expiration or else team the user name format if you could observe here see when I'm creating a user account team the moment I give first name and last name let's say I'm creating one more account team Triotech Verma the moment I give these things team automatically username coming up with a combination first name dot last name why these all happening? There is something in the fusion system called user category default. Here we have the option to customize all this. Let's say my client telling Kumar in my system, all username formats should be the employee email ID is Kumar. Password complexity should be at least five characters, sorry, at least 10 characters, two numbers, one special character. All these things, even password expiration, every 120 days password should expire. These all things we can able to customize team. We have something called user a category in the system. But this topic I will take up in tomorrow session. Same. I mean, not tomorrow, the next session on Monday. Auto provision roles, remove roles. These all further what we have to discuss with respect to the user account. And then in this action button, we have a couple of options team, lock account, reset password, delete, compare user, copy user. These all options also we have to see team. Now in today's session, I hope everyone understood in security administration in fusion system, what we can do. Two concepts we have, user account management and role management in the system. So how to create the user account? What are the different ways I explained you? Out of that manual way of creation we have seen because when we are in the project team, first of all, the foremost thing we will do is this only. For all of our team, user account creations we have to do. How to do, we understood now. But within that, some more functionalities we have to discuss as I have shown you now. This we will continue in the next session team. Okay. So any questions as such in today's topic, online people? No, hi, Kumar. Kumar. This is Banu. Yeah, hi. One at a time. Someone please. Murtaz. Yeah, yeah. This is Banu here. This is Banu? Uh, it was a nice session. Uh, but uh, I just have one question. Yes, Banu. Uh, so first and foremost in this uh when we are creating Banu, a bit user, louder Banu, very low yeah 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 now you yeah. are able to hear me 
yeah slightly better yes tell me yeah yeah uh, first and foremost thing uh, you said his uh, worker and man correct for implementation consultants uh, we said we will not Manual. keep as a worker Manual. and we are we, we said we are not going to keep as a worker because uh, he is not an employee Correct. but when we going to the attaching the roles so we are attaching employee roles so, see that is that's what i told you. actually this is not required to us but to make you basic understand understand, understand. okay, okay yeah, yeah. fine got it, got it. Yeah. and second thing is uh, uh, when you associated an employee uh mm. roles uh employee role you also said right? there are mm. two things uh, procurement payable which have come into picture mm. Uh, mm. how does uh, that uh setup is done no uh, basically that, that is by default with the basic employee role every role will have privileges within that actually in the roles we have the extension topic types of roles every role will inher inherit with certain functionalities or privileges with that employee role, the basic self-service functionalities are coming up in the system. Why? Because this system is not licensed only with HCM. It has supply chain, it has financials, it has CRM, everything. So that is the reason the basic employee role also coming with some other product related things that what a basic employee can do from those areas. Yeah, understand, but where is that setup? Is there any setup anywhere where we can see? We that have that in the roles, roles detailed classes. We will be discussing that. Oh, still we have, we have that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have that. Okay. We just oh, added fine. Oracle delivered seeded roles, but okay. when it comes to role customization part and all is there. In that we have to talk. Okay, thank you, thank you. Very yeah, much. thank you. And I can see one more question in the chat from you in automatic creation. How roles are assigned? Yeah, there is set up Banu here. Yes. How automatically user account created roles also in this case will auto trigger because if account is auto creating again manually HR going to security console search the account and adding of role means no use even roles also should auto trigger for that we have a concept called role mapping through okay. that we have to do that but we have time we will see that in the coming days okay okay thank you very much yeah. Thanks, Ma. Uh, hi, Kumar. Uh, Ashmita here. Yes, Ashmita. Yeah, uh, Kumar. So, actually, I got a little confused. So, what is the mm -hmm. basic difference between this user account creation and hiring an employee into the system? Uh, so, we have a client group from where we can actually add people, right? And uh, and this process. Yeah. So, what is the difference? Yeah, see, between... see, here, we are the implementation consultants for the client. Correct? Mm -hmm. In reality, okay. we will not be hired in their system. Why we will be hired in the system as an employees? We are not employees of Tata. We are employees <laughs> of Osis working for the project. That's all right. I mean, we are mm -hmm. the implementation partners. So mm -hmm. we will not be hired in the system directly. Then how okay. in the system for our team, the user accounts will be created? If hiring happening means no issue. As an employee, the account will get generated by the system. But for us, we have to create no that is the reason the approach of okay. manual way oracle given so this is only for the implementation partners that you are showing, usually sorry. implementation partners only this will be but client also will have some accounts non-employee accounts means mm -hmm. uh, the modules to run some reports to run some mm -hmm. schedule processes just accounts with full access they will maintain they, they will be using for that purposes for that matter okay. also you can but Yes, more or less your statement is correct for implementation consultants. Okay, and one more thing is when you say like automatically generating, do you mean those integrations from the recruitment module that creates the yes. employee? If ORC is implemented from ORC, mm -hmm. the account will come, the user will be hired as a contingent worker there. And right. Put to uh, employee as a employee in core HR module. Like so the person create... of interest, those kind Sorry? of profile. No, no, like person the person of, interest, of interest. Yeah. person of interest means in ORC that will be handled, not in core HR model. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. Got it. Thank you. The rest of the people don't worry with these questions. As such, these people are familiar with the system. They are asking that. But freshers and remaining don't get into these uh, questions. We'll see one by one. What is your understanding? Kumar, one question. Yes. Hi, Ajay here. Yes, Ajay. 
uh how oracle fusion will is different from sap and workday because i'd work on sap and workday both see different means like there is nothing like that all these are different erp applications offered by different companies yeah i mean to say with a basic example already this uh, i have told but uh, let me tell you again see i have a mobile i'm using yeah. apple mobile and i'm using samsung mobile both yeah. are mobiles but one is offered by apple one is offered by samsung right the fundamental yeah. usage the purpose is same i have to call to someone i have to use it for browsing or emails and all etc the same thing these all are hr systems oracle fusion is owned by oracle workday is yeah. offered by oracle like that but ultimately usability or the purpose is for providing the hr business solutions to the client that, right. that's what yeah Thanks, thanks. All right, one question. Yes, Murtas. Uh, so you said so. Just, just so I'm correct. Uh, only application implementation consultants, manager, and administrators get access to the administration work area. Correct. This work area. Okay. Okay. Perfect. That roles we'll... are required to give access to these functional areas. Okay, and we will be going in depth uh, for that administration work area. Yes, yes, because okay. from from next core HR absence, the modules when I start every day, we will go to this only administration setup and maintenance offerings and all. Perfect, and you can give multiple roles to one employee, right? We can, we can. Okay. Perfect. I can see a question in the chat from Preeti. What are possible errors in automatic generation which leads to manual assignment of user to employee? Good question. Uh, Preeti, that I will be continuing in the next session actually because when I'm talking about user category, there I'm going to explain you what will be the possible errors when the user name, because we have a concept called user name generation rule failing. Wins at which circumstances that will fail. When I say data discrepancy due to some data discrepancies sometimes system will not create user account when that i will tell when i'm talking about further in the next class only user category then username uh, generation rule failing there that will come we'll talk it here okay so well team that's all for today we'll join back in the next session and we'll continue I hope everyone got access to the portal and access to the WhatsApp community. If anyone not yet received, please check out team. If you are not receiving that, you will be in a confusion. Every day classes you will attend. But ultimately, if the re video recording is not there with you as a backup to refer or study, you will be struggling with that. So for everyone, video portal access being shared. If you have not received emails, Please, I request to reach out to the support team, okay, so that they will be releasing the access. Notes, now I will share the PDF for our first uh, security and core HR module, now in the community, please find it team. People who joined lately in the community, again, we are going to reshare the instance access and all. Some of the people joined lately today evening like that. So we'll be resharing it, don't worry. And anyone had to confirm, I don't think so. Couple of people are there today. Vidya or some people only had to confirm. Whoever had to confirm, please do complete by tomorrow team so that we can able to share access to you as well. So we'll join back in the next session and we'll continue. Thank you. Thank you everyone team. Good night.